How's it going YouTube? GM Tombstone Belts back here again with a brand new video and it, it today is 20, it's the first day of 2023 so happy new year to all you guys. I know it, how a lot has changed near the ending of the of 2022 for me truly especially after the video yesterday like uh, going through the old apartment moving through the stuff and through all the ash and that well the burnt down apartment but Got a comment from a guy saying prayers and all that. I'm sorry for me. Thank you all so much for at least supporting me through my rough time. And I know most of you are lucky that me and my family are okay and no one was hurt. But we always got to move on, guys. It's, let's do it. It's a new year, so prop. So knowing it's going to be brand new stuff to come for me and my family. And hopefully soon a brand new place and a brand new Dan Cave where I build up my stuff again. And obviously guys, I'll be glad and be proud of my new place when we do get a new one. Because right now I'm residing here in this, my, uh, in the basement of one of my family members to uh, do a video of what's been going on since uh, yesterday from the, la from the ending of 2022. First off, I'm going to show you what I've done for now here in 2023. Recently, I have uh, thought, well, it's just because I'm in a new place doesn't mean I should stop doing videos, as you guys can tell. And I should still do more for my belts, like restone work, which actually I think I talked about a bit just yesterday before the clock struck midnight. I was working on these three belts. Yes, both US spinners are starting to get stones replaced. And of course, my big gold belt that was signed by Booker T, all the stones have been replaced with Swarovski crystals. So this is the fifth replica belt that's been fully restoned from my WWE World Heavyweight, my Oval IC, my Blue Universal, and of course my Big Eagle Belt. Now this is the fifth one. I'm starting to do a partial restone on the small child's one. I mostly I restone some of the st on the stars, the two millimeter stones and that, and the center star you can see there. Ha and haven't done much on the other side plates because I'm low on stones and waiting for maybe to get more to replace them but as of right now I've done most on the I've done both the centers on the stars there and on this one you can tell from some of the sparkles on the words US on the letters U and S I have restoned the I'm starting to restone the lettering and I got one stone right there so I obviously got to get more six and five millimeters for this plate two three and maybe possibly four millimeters for these for this plate with some red and blue stones two millimeters on those and I'll get both these fully restoned because I know this even though they, yeah these are old figs ink belts and probably do a need for a new strap I know that this these belts will still look good once they're fully restoned. So yeah, yeah, this is mostly what I'll be doing for the time being. And uh, I'm just gonna set my camera back up. Okay. Yeah, so and obviously guys you've seen the recent videos, I also got two new nameplates. That are TV accurate to the ones on TV for the Undisputed and the WWE Spinner. So yeah, we're I say for a true belt collector like myself, I want my belts to at least look TV accurate and feel TV accurate. Like my, like still waiting for getting a re-leather send-out strap from uh, Ryan Richards from Facebook and as well on those Facebook belt groups. He's known on YouTube as well for for making a. And I read leather on his, sorry guys, on the WWE Championship belt as well. 
but as well several other things coming in in the mail that I have being sent out to new, as we, as I speak right now hopefully probably sometime within the new year and of course maybe a brand new belts coming in the mail as well so uh, yeah uh, a little hush hush on that you know because want to keep that a secret don't know what want to tell you guys what it is hope you guys enjoy it but but I'm saying guys yeah with the new restone big gold here obviously most of you thinking maybe I should get a, a re-leathered as well but uh, yeah getting a re-leathered I'll probably get to send out and just hold on to the strap because you know I'm not gonna throw away the signature because I still got the stock strap for the WWE Championship Network logo belt in mind. But you always want to save the signatures, guys. But if anything, I'll keep it on this and just try to keep it somewhat preserved as much as I can. And if I do have to get it re-leathered, I'll go for a send-out strap. But I, I tell you guys, now I'm, I'd really love the big old belt, especially now with it being restoned. And I tell you guys, sometimes it was a hassle to get these things for snow because with a two millimeter big gold, the screws are exactly the post for the rubies. So when you unscrew the screws, the posts come out and that's what holds the plate down. So I was afraid when I drill into them with the drill, the set for the stones, you drill in too far, you snap the post off, the post won't stay on the belt no more. That means you have to get through the whole hole. Maybe JB welding the post back on and all that stuff. Luckily, I was careful enough and it worked properly. So now I say, a fully restoned big gold set up at Booker T. I love it. And of course, for all my other belts, maybe sooner I may have all my belts re leathered. Maybe except the million dollar because they not leather, it's metal. But eventually, soon we even get that one restoned. I got most of it restoned. But maybe about another 250 more uh, five millimeter crystals and eventually I'll have that one fully restone so I'll have six fully restone belts but guys as you know the M tombstone belts is alive and well and like I say no there ain't nothing that's gonna stop me from doing what I do and that's maybe I'm residing now in the basement of it looks like <laughs> better for Bray Wyatt but I tell you guys right now like I say there ain't no, not an apartment fire for me ain't stopping me I'm lucky to be alive and I'm lucky that I have my family I'm watching my back and I'm lucky to have you guys supporting me if it wasn't for you guys I'm pretty sure none of this would happen so again I say thank you so much from the bottom of my heart I appreciate and I uh, and I humble you guys for what you do for me so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Because they are thinking it's a new year. I think I should reach 400 subscribers, guys. Let's try to at least get 100 subscribers every year. Or maybe even more. I'm telling you guys, it's because of you, I do this just for the fun of it. I know most people can say YouTube's a job. and that. Well, I, that's the thing, guys. I have a job of my own, and I'm trying to provide to my family. This I do as a hobby, guys. I don't see this as a job for myself. I mean, maybe eventually I will do it. I'm not as big as those other YouTubers like Paul Martin, Hazard at Five, or Stephen Hammer. Shout out to you, Stephen Hammer. And of course, a lot of those other people on YouTube that make thousands of views of doing what I'm just basically doing like they are. So, remember guys, if you haven't already, please subscribe to watch more of my videos and as well. Comment below what you guys think. And I hopefully soon when I do get in the new, I'm obviously gonna say this right now, until I get in the new place, I'm gonna be holding back on making belts. At least the cardboard ones. So guys, the M2 Stone Belts is gonna be on hold for making his traditional cardboard belts, just because right now I'm residing in a place that's not my own. So when I get a new, so once I get into the new place, set up my Dan Cave, and when the M2 Stone Belts is back in business, I'll be, back to creating what I do best, making belts. So, as well, don't forget to follow me on my social media at Twitter at DMTombstone96 and as well on Instagram at DME96. I'm DMTombstone Belts and I'm saying to you guys a happy new year and I'll see you guys in the next video.